Cracker, a big turnout today for, uh, I guess, the commemoration of the Helen Keller statue. Just talk about what this, what this occasion means to you. Well, this is for a celebration of Silicaga and the marble, and you know what a wonderful job the Marble Festival has done in terms of getting the community involved in, you know, this phenomenal natural resource. You know, you've heard me refer to it as white gold, and you know, and sometimes you lose sight of it because it's so abundant and in your own backyard just how special it is and, and that means a lot to me to see all the people that have come out to support the completion of this project but at the same time celebrate the uh, the magic of Mark. One thing I know about this town is you know, a lot of us are transplants here and we fall in love but just the unity of this town and the support for anything that happens in this town is just unbelievable. Well, you know, I tell people that the marble brought me here, but it's the community of Silicaga is why I'm still here. And it just, I kept waiting for the other foot to drop in terms of people just can't be this, this warm and this nice, but they truly are. And, you know, what a blessing to have a, a town that gets behind what you do. And hopefully it's something that, that helps the community in terms of, you know, both economically as well as, you know, just a sense of pride of, of your hometown. I spoke with some gentlemen from the uh, Tuscumbia Alliance Club and you know, just their overall excitement about this, but just about Helen Keller in general, what she means to the state of Alabama. Well, without Ann Sullivan, there would be no Helen Keller. And so this is a girl that was 20 years old that came down and from Pennsylvania. You know, imagine getting on a train when you're 20 years old and going basically halfway across the country to change the life of a child. And, and she changed the life of that child and, and kept Helen from, you know, a life of probably being institutionalized. But by changing that one child, she ultimately changed the world because Helen Keller, she opened those doors. And, and from that, Helen Keller became the voice for suffrage, for women's rights, for unionized labor, for, you know, just, just countless things that, that needed to change at that time, at the turn of the century in the early 1900s. And, uh, you know, she literally became the voice for millions of people. And, you know, and for someone who couldn't see or couldn't hear, you know, how unbelievable is that, that, that she ultimately became the voice for these millions of people. Have all these interruptions. Well, it's a lot better than the alternative. Nobody wanted to. It is. It's an enormous day for us uh, as the Lions. We are super excited, and of course, Silicaga has played such a major role. Uh, with Crager Brown being our sculptor and also uh, featuring the Silicaga marble. And with Crager also being a charter member of a, the brand new Lions Club here in Silicaga. But uh, we established the Helen Keller Memorial in 1971 at Ivy Green, and we have a Knights of the Blind Walk. So we commissioned Crager to do this statue to put along that walk so that people from all over the world will get to see that. I mean, we are really proud that uh, we are the home district of Ivy Green, and we get to brag on that to all the lions of the world, and we're even going to uh, do a presentation in Chicago at our 100th anniversary convention at the end of this month. But Helen Keller had such an impact, not only on the Lions, when she challenged us in 1925 to be Knights of the Blind and help her in the crusade against darkness. And thankfully, the Lions back in 1925 accepted that challenge, and it really gave us our focus on what we would do in the service community. So we're excited about that. But regardless, Helen Keller had such a major impact on all walks of life all around the world. It's, she is one of the most known names throughout the world, and everyone knows her accomplishments.